Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Dominato Space. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this magnificent spin with a lightsaber from the third Star Wars movie Revenge of the Sith. This was mainly utilized by Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi during their uh, fight in Mustafar. Of course, if you're wearing this magnificently crafted glove for Anakin, it's kind of hard to do that because it's leather, it's tight, can't really get too much out of it, but still, I mean, it's something. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to take it off. So, my fellow Jedi and Sith, let's begin. First, I would like to point out that for this kind of move and for any saber fighting really you'll require an ultra saber sword or uh, or saber forge a waiter's wall whatever you prefer since it has a far better balance than the uh, plastic Hasbro cheapo toy light sabers and with that you can actually feel yourself like a Jedi since it's full full metal held and a polycarbonate tube, uh, tube which is, uh, this one is from Zaber Forge, but the hell is from Ultra Zabers, and you can do that if you wish, since Ultra Zabers are cheaper, Zaber Forge is more expensive, but anyway, for Anakin, I'm using this, this is my training saber, as you can see, it's quite, quite nice, a little bit customized, and a day blade, which I think suits it perfectly, so, now that's out of the way, let's begin. What do you need to know about the spin? Uh, that first you really need to know how to do the basic twirl, or whatever it's called. This one that you see Jedi doing a lot in the movies. It's quite simple and straightforward. Uh, it's, it's not that hard really. Just have your lightsaber in the hand, and you're doing this rotating motion. It's really easy, you just need to hold your weapon with the with this finger and the and the palm a bit and just do this motion. It's not that hard. Once you do that, you wanna get your sword to the back, but don't don't hit yourself, you will die. Again, do that, you have it in the back. Then what you're gonna gonna do next is basically have it rotate your arm goes goes to the front your lightsaber is like making a circle but not a full circle now check this out you go half a circle then you do the twirl again the same position of, as we started first and it goes again to the back again in slow motion should look something like this once again, starting from this position, do the twirl, then move your saber like this, goes to the back, goes to the back and to the front. This position goes here, here, goes, goes around, twirl, goes to the back again. 
And it, it, it should be a fluent and continuous motion, otherwise it won't look good. Now let me do it a bit more slowly, from far away, twirl, to the back, to the front, a bit of a circle, again, the same position, goes to the back, and once you're comfortable with that, you should feel really the balance of your lightsaber in order to be able to perform it the way it should be. Then you can go full speed if you wish. Let me show you my fellow Padawans how it looks like from the from this angle. And from the back. Again, you see the motion goes to, to the back. Try not to hit yourself. You may die. You never turn. I'm just kidding. It goes like this at full speed. And you can do that with the left arm if you wish, but it takes a bit more practice, I should say. But if you if you mainly use your right hand, of course, start with that. Left. It's not that hard really when you figure it out. And one more tip. If you're holding your lightsaber like this, uh, you better don't do that since it's harder to maneuver around with it. You don't feel the, the you don't get the right balance, I should say. That's why in the movies they usually hold it like this. And you see it goes far better. So I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to show you. I hope you you got the gist of it. And yeah, thank you for watching and may the force be with you, always.